It's been nearly two weeks since a Tucumcari man died in a gruesome dog attack. And we now have the lapel camera video showing the aftermath as investigators search for those deadly dogs and their owners. Brianna Wilson has everything we know so far, including what happened to those dogs and their handlers. Brianna, we have to start with a warning about this video, though. That's absolutely right, Ryan. So it was a gruesome scene. We blurred the lapel video from the night of Stanley Hart's death, but we do want to warn you. Some may still find it disturbing. A shocking sight for the first responders who found 64 year old Stanley Hart in the road at Gamble and 11th in Tucumcari. Who hit him? A uh, pack of dogs. A pack of dogs? The four or five of them. Do you really think it dogs that did this? That's what they said. They saw dogs on him when they pulled up. Yeah, but it looks like he got ran over or something. I don't know, five of them? Five dogs? Lapel video from the February 1st attack shows the moments first responders knew Hart would not survive his injuries. His body covered in bite marks, police saying large portions of his legs appeared to be eaten away by animals. Court documents say police found a bloody bank card at the scene that helped them to identify the victim. From there, the Quake County Sheriff's Department, Tucumcari, and state police set out to identify what killed him. They said that the dogs took off that way. Their fear someone else would get attacked. I got you. Get in your car! Court docs say one Quake County deputy found a dog that appeared to have blood on its snout and was given permission to shoot it on the spot. The deputy did, killing the animal, then joined the continued search for the others. The dogs are cutting over the 5th Street. That search led police to the home of Mary Montoya and her son, Christopher Morris. Montoya initially told officers she only had a puppy. <laughs> But what they found inside was a dog in a cage with blood on its face, matching the description of a dog they had just been chasing in the area. That's the dog we were chasing. Are you serious? I'm, I'm yes. positive of that. Because I just let her out to go to the bathroom in 20 minutes. <laughs> What do you mean she, she's only a puppy. Montoya told police her kids had left her back gate open that day. She was running around with a couple other dogs and she really hurt somebody. How bad? Uh, pretty bad. A Quake County deputy took the dog from a cage in Montoya's house. Then determined Montoya and Morris were the owners of all five dogs involved in the attack, including the one a deputy shot, which had attacked someone in the past. All of them are there. Yeah, they're all they're dogs. Every single one? Every single one. Now, only one of the five dogs involved in the attack has been put down. That was the one that was shot. State police say the other four are in custody with animal control tonight. Montoya and Morris both face felony charges, including involuntary manslaughter, but they are not behind bars tonight. Morris, who investigators say owns the dogs his mother cared for, was released Friday on a $10,000 bond and agreed to no longer care for any dogs or large pets. Now, the Tucumcari community continues to mourn the loss of Stanley Hart. They're planning a memorial service for him on Sunday, February 26th at, at Emmanuel Baptist Church. They've left candles, flowers, and signs on the side of the road where he was killed. Tessa? Well, it's a, a, just a tough story all the way around. Okay, Brianna, thanks.